Uh, yeah, Coach, um, when did you all uh, realize that Corderell was not going to be with you? And uh, what, uh, you know, how, how, how much of a problem was it trying to replace his fullback position? Well, we worked him out about two and a half hours before kickoff, give or take. Didn't think it was in the best interest. You know, he obviously is a guy who wants to play. Um, he's a big part of this team, be led. But it wasn't going to be, wouldn't be good for him. So about two hour and a half hours before kickoff. But you got to anticipate, you have contingency plans. Obviously, our contingency, when you go in there, it's not, can't ever just be one for one. He, he's a special player. So everything we could. Um, Clearly, it wasn't it wasn't good enough. So, and credit to New England. On the 14, uh, end up getting uh, nothing there, and uh, uh, fourth and one where it looked like you're trying to you know get back in the game there. Sure. Uh, yeah. Had some opportunities. So yeah, I mean it was obviously uh, pretty. We knew it was going to be a physical game. It was slow moving. Uh, when we had our chance down there, you know we we tried to go no huddle on third and one. So as we backed up, tried to make a play, and then you get sacked, and then you get the penalty on the field goal, and it kind of snowballed from there in that possession. And then too many times we we were behind the sticks. So when you do that against a really good team, and that's why they consistently win, and that's where we're, we're going to get here, D-Letic, I promise you that, because we're going to continue to fight, and we're going to get out of this thing. And it's been obviously pretty uh, – the last two games aren't, haven't been good enough. But it's a long season. We've got seven games, and we're going to figure this out. All right, my Tavion Grennan getting questioned. Five, he had a couple runs, but just the productivity uh, wasn't there. To sure. I mean, there wasn't a lot of, you know, things that we, we did well tonight offensively. There's, there's, I mean, you don't score points, and you don't take advantage when you do have the opportunity. And, and like I said, in a low possession game, because it's a defense fought, and they fought, and our guys fought. And it's not like they didn't fight on offense, but... We didn't do enough to put us in a chance to win at the end. So, yeah. Arthur, at this point, what do you need to do to kind of fix the issues you guys are having on the offensive line? How do you go about doing well, that? Well, I think you got to look at everything, Michael. We'll, we'll take this weekend and, and do a lot of self-reflection. And like I said, we're going to get out of this hole um, because we, we have to and we will. And we got the right guys to do it. Uh, as far as Matt Ryan, it looks like Matt put in the first quarter maybe of the did he injure his toe? Is there an issue there for him? We'll, we'll look at it first thing in the morning. Obviously, he finished the game, and I took him out at the end when it was, uh, we, you know, there wasn't going to be enough time left. So, like all our players, they'll come in tomorrow, they'll get treatment, and we'll see what the uh, doctors say about them all. Was there any sense that that was affecting how he was able to move forward? Well, I think anything. I mean, you know, it's a tough game. You're playing on a short week. Uh, you're going to have to alter plans if, if – you think, but Matt's a warrior, so he's going to keep fighting, and that's what we—that's what all our guys did. So, if, if something comes up, you got to have a contingency plan, and that's every player, and that's what we try to do tonight. And so we try to adapt, and it wasn't good enough. So we'll go back to work, and we're going to get out of this. Like I said, we'll get out of this hole. Josh, what gives you that confidence that you'll get out of this? Because we've done it before, Josh. I mean, it feels ugly right now, and in this moment. Yeah, you, you, you feel obviously pretty poor when you when you you go you go there you get to four and four you get a big win and then obviously you, you guys all watched the last two games so we've done it before Josh and it's like I told you before it's continual improvement you hope not to ride the roller coaster we got to fix things and we're gonna get them fixed and we'll get them fixed in a hurry. Sorry. When you kind of look back over the last two games. With the struggle of the offense, what part of it has been the most disappointing for you? Well, it's – I don't know if there's one thing you say it's the most disappointing. I mean, we're not we're not executing. We're, we're getting ourselves – we're, we're – there's too many penalties that are putting us behind. You get into some of the fundamental mistakes you're making up front or on the perimeter. Uh, I mean, so everything. we well, got to go in here. We'll use it as a, as a mini buy, and we'll do everything we can to self-reflect and get it fixed because there's a lot of there's a lot of things. I mean, it's everything we, we got to look at. It's never just one thing. I mean, a lot of times it looks like, hey, this guy misses block. We may have had a protection call. Guard may not have come down with him. You know, those those are things that happen that you don't know unless you know you know the play call in the scheme. With the with all the 
uh, absences you have on offense, is there is there a risk, or have you seen it all, Matt, trying to do too much? No, I, I don't think anybody. I don't know if people try to do too much. You know, these guys, they're all sitting there t trying to win, and you know you're. As the game gets down and you feel it, I mean, you can feel it as a, as a coach. I mean, guys are pressing and trying to make a play. So certainly there's there's moments, and it's happened at different times at, at a lot of our positions. Uh, but, like, I know he's a warrior. He's going to come back, and we're going to work, and we're going to get it fixed. Yeah, the fourth down play in the red zone, I think kind of asked What's that? The fourth down in the red zone, I do that kind of asked a different one. But what went into the decision to run Hodry there versus maybe trying a quarterback sneak or – well, you get different looks, Michael. I mean, you just watch. I think the biggest misnomer, if you get the certain looks and, and you like them or you're going with a play that you feel pretty good about. And there are people package plays all the time. And if you may not get the look you want, and well, like I said, we'll go back. All, obviously, everything's on the table. we got to look at it. we got to fix it. So, Michael, here, here's – in every offense in the NFL, people package plays. You watch New England tonight, whether they hit the helmet – they do the throw thing. It's very standard issue. People call them audibles. They're not really audibles. Most people package plays now. And so I'm not going to get into every single detail of our scheme, but that's pretty common in the NFL, how people package plays. Uh, short yardage situations, physicality of the offensive line continue to be an issue to some degree. What, what gives you confidence that, you know, that things can improve in that area? Well, a lot of it is by matchup, Jeff. You know, like I said, we we feels bad now, but we we have had some success this year. In moments, we got to look at the matchups, maybe schematically what we're doing. I mean, it's, it's not all on the offensive line. I mean, we got to get things fixed all over the offense. You know, it, it's where we're at. You, you sit there and you ride the roller coaster. You feel like you're improving, and obviously the last two weeks, clearly not good enough. But they've done it, and we'll continue to work. That's the only thing we know how to do. I mean, that's what it is. We're going to play seven more games. And as bad as this feels, a lot of things can happen in seven games. So if we hadn't done it at all, sure, you'd be like, all right, what are you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna really realistically do? But we have, and we, and we will get it fixed. But every, I mean, all the options are on the table. We're gonna look at everything, Jeff. Charles, I'll throw one defense question. Uh, you made some uh, changes on your defensive front, <coughs> reaching your active roster. Can you talk about the decisions to have? Time yeah, I mean, a lot of them. You're on a short week. Um, if you got guys that are a little maybe banged up. Or you, you know where you're at in the season. You got guys that are maybe fresh. Maybe it comes to the matchup. Uh, we knew it was going to be a pretty physical game, so that's why we made the decisions we did up front. Thanks, guys. Thank you.